what was my place right it was close it was like right up here after almost a year of traveling I was ready to move to Oakland, California, and leading up to it, my friend Josie and I stopped by my old apartment in downtown Columbus. It was close to Are those there, because when Joshua dropped my, the table, the glass, it fell right here, like in front of the entrance. I used to live here. Yeah, she did. Last night, <laughs> before I go to Oakland. You're not leaving you for good. You're coming to see me like ASAP. Hi, 250 high. It's been real. Oakland, what's up? Josie helped me pack the last of my bags and by 5 a.m. I was off to the airport to fly to San Francisco. As you can imagine, I was so exhausted, but I was also very excited about this new chapter in my life. I had decided to move to Oakland because they had a large Rwandan community, which was important to me. It was diverse, it was warmer, and I just, I wanted a fresh start and I was so excited. The craziest thing is that I signed the lease to my apartment without ever touring it so when I arrived on October 29th that was the first time actually physically seeing my apartment and where I was going to be living hey everyone I am tired so although I'm very excited I may not be coming off as excited as I am but I am in Oakland and I just took a tour of my apartment building. Let me show you around. So I still have my luggage here and all that jazz being as I just got here. The bathroom. Oh, I think this has, there's a vanity light as well, which is perfect. Tub is nice and big and deep. <laughs> Love it. So as soon as you walk in, you have the bathroom and then you have the hallway here. I got a studio apartment that kind of feels like a one bed, but just open. Um, this is the bedroom area, closet. So this is much smaller than my old apartment in Columbus. So I am downsizing like crazy, but I want to do that. After nomading for so long, this is exactly the kind of thing that I want. This is the living area, kitchen area. Yeah. The best part is the view. So I confirmed this apartment before seeing it. So I was just going off of the floor plans and also the virtual tour they had for a similar layout. But the window in that layout was smaller than this. It was just like maybe like those two windows and everything else was blocked off. So this was a very nice surprise. At night you get to see the mountains back there. Look at that view. Oh my God, I'm really excited. Dishwasher, lots of cabinet space, enough enough for me. So I, I don't know if I should put like some curtains on the inside or like a sheer curtain or should I just leave it open? I don't know, we'll see. I do like how open it is because then you get some light in here. I'm excited about this window because my plants are gonna thrive. Full size washer and dryer. I mean, this is such a, such a cute spot. Now, I have so many boxes downstairs already. We all know moving can be so stressful, but one thing that helped me was once I went ahead and secured the apartment, I started shipping things to my building. So when I got there, I already had my mattress, I had my bed frame, so the first night I didn't have to sleep on the floor, I was able to put it together. I was moving from Ohio to California, so that definitely helped. But also when I was moving from Brooklyn, New York to Columbus, Ohio, I did the very same thing and it just took a lot of stress off of me and it made it so I didn't have to hire movers or anything like that in order to get my things to my new place. My rug actually just got here yesterday and I just laid it out and I'm really happy with how it looks. It's always a gamble when you get like a white-ish rug. Um, so I'm just gonna have to be extra clean, which is no problem. I never have shoes on in the house, though, so that should help. And it's really, really soft, very comfortable. It has some cushioning, so it's really nice to walk on it. Um, I love these braided 
tassels here, so cute. I got this from Wayfair and um, I think it's called Marrakesh. Oops, I forgot one here. Okay, there, all is well. Um, I'm still getting some stuff together. Still have some things I need to hang up. My bed is pretty much done. My couch is actually downstairs. My friend is gonna come and we're gonna assemble it. And yeah, that's it for now. Okay, so let's do a quick tour. At this point, I've lived in this apartment for months, so it's a bit lived in. A lot of these items that I have, I actually had when I was still in Columbus, and some of them I had when I was in New York, and I just shipped them to myself. Uh, it can be a little bit expensive, but it's better than buying all new things, especially when you like the pieces that you have. So I put the same art in the bathroom that I've had in Columbus. Some things I definitely bought brand new, like these shower curtain hooks and shower curtain that I got from Amazon. I'll be sure to link that in the description. The tub is pretty big, spacious. Let's get into these masks I actually got from an artist based in Indonesia, but I actually found that they can be purchased on Amazon. In this bedroom area, I added a small vanity. I had to search high and low for this perfect one that fit in that space. And I got it on Amazon as well, link in the description. I decided to not put a curtain in that partition just so I can get some light in the morning. I think it definitely made the space feel a little bit bigger. Some of my plants I got from Ikea and some of them I actually brought with me when I moved from Columbus to Oakland. This couch I got from Wayfair and I'm still very, very happy with it. Not gonna lie, I was nervous about getting a cream slash white-ish couch, but months later it's still pretty good and really easy to clean. For the frames on my wall, I had the exact same ones when I was in Columbus. However, I sold them on Facebook Marketplace and bought the exact ones again once I got to Oakland because I didn't feel comfortable moving with them. One of the things that I was looking for when I was ready to get an apartment again after being a nomad for seven months was a place that was cozy, a nice view of course, but also I wanted to downsize. When I was living in Columbus, I had a much bigger apartment, but nomading around showed me that I didn't need all that space and all that stuff to feel content. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to go for a studio. Being as I booked this place before even seeing it, I absolutely have come to love it and will miss it when I move on to my next adventure. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'm Josie Marie. <laughs>